first dish is a grass-fed oxtail and beef cheek pyramid agnolotti. I chose to do the pyramid agnolotti because you don't see that technique a lot. It's very labor intensive. We freshened up the deep, rich, braised flavors of the meat with a nice light pea puree, some fresh garden peas, some pea tendrils, little forest mushrooms for balance, and in the beef jus, we added yuzu kosho to give a little acidity and some chili to the dish. This is carne apache, a traditional beef tartare from Mexico. I'm elevating the flavors besides the lime juice, serrano, cilantro, and jalapeno accoutrements. I'm actually adding a cracked hominy that I've cooked the same way you would cook rice. Spicy pickled daikon, radish, cilantro, and coriander blossoms, avocado puree, masa crackers, so you have the texture of the crunchy masa crackers with the soft meat, and the cracked hominy has a little bite, and the crunchiness from the daikon as well. This is grass-fed ribeye duo. I wanted to showcase different techniques for this cut of meat. So we removed the ribeye cap and we smoked it. Uh, and then we sous vide the ribeye bullet and picked it up over the wood grill at the very last minute. Served with caramelized baby yams, pickled vegetables, California cheese bechamel, red chili mustard, and fiend herbs. I really wanted to play on familiar flavors of meat with cheese, potato, mustard, and herbs, but presented in an elevated way. This is res con mole negro, beef with black mole. Here I have uh, two different cuts of meat cooked two different ways to bring out the flavor in the actual beef. I have a crispy Santa Maria brisket that has been braised overnight, and then I have it smoking inside the Santa Maria smoker, and then I'm crisping it up on the Evo grill just to give the edges a nice little texture. And then I have a sous vide ribeye that I'm searing off at the end, uh, served with a black mole, traditional Oaxacan black mole, that has uh, been thinned out with a smoky beef dashi, a traditional Japanese dashi. So you have the same kind of smoke notes on the dashi and the mole as well as the meat. And this will be served with a grilled summer squash, patty pan, and zucchini, vegetables in escabeche, garnished with purslane and hoja santa chechoyotes, which is a traditional masa dumpling, and finished off with a 20-month aged cotija cheese. This is a chocolate mason jar cheesecake with Pop Rocks graham cracker crumbs, brandy cherries, butterscotch caramel, and torn chocolate cake. I put these flavors together to kind of play off traditional flavors of a chocolate cheesecake, but I wanted to elevate them and modernize them and have fun with the presentation. We decided to pair the rich flavors of the chocolate with the brandy cherries and the butterscotch caramel and the Pop Rocks to try to add a different note to bring out different flavors of the chocolate. So the chocolate tastes different with every bite of every element of the dessert. This is chocolate con almendra, chocolate with almonds. In between the very dense layers of the delicious chocolate cake, I have a uh, almond and Baja olive oil semifredo. The almond is from ground up mamey seeds that have the same flavor notes as almond extract, garnished with a cherry salad with an almond praline and a Baja olive oil powder that just gives it a little bit of fluffiness and nuttiness from the olive oil. And a winner of the paprika knife, our coveted trophy, and the trip to the World Food Championships and a chance to win $100,000 cash goes to well-deserved Claudette. <laughs>